Hello beauties, how are you all doing? My name is Shaz and I love colorful makeup. Today we're gonna do another to buy or not to buy. These are videos where I talk about makeup that has been released or sneak peeked and I tell you if I'm gonna pick it up or not. And I want you also to tell me in the comments box below if you're gonna pick it up or not or anything else you wanna tell me about these releases. Also, we're gonna do this eye look with the beautiful culture 2 palette from juvia's place beautiful palette and also i've combined that with the dusk and dawn palettes from shine by sd these are the duality 2.0 collection and let me quickly show you the two beautiful palettes in this collection if all of that sounds good to you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now let's jump right in. I have my coffee, it's iced coffee, and in fact all the ice might have um, dissolved at this point, but I have it right here. I'm getting into cold brew. I'm trying to cut back on milk and milk-based products and i'm liking this anyway we also have our candle so this is a salted caramel pistachio candle from trader joe's it smells very yummy and cookie like this is a new thing i've seen at trader joe's i've never seen it before because i always check out their body stuff and in this line, they also have a body wash that is Brazil nut and a body scrub and body butter and a bu bunch of other things. And I bought the body, I don't use body butter, I just don't use cream and not a thing for me, but I bought the body scrub and the body wash and I love it. It smells so good. As much as I can't put scented things on my face, I love like nicely scented stuff for my body. So just letting you all know if that is, something you're interested in, check out Trader Joe's. I also think these were between like two and five dollars each. And it was a great price, great price, as is with most things at Trader Joe's. Now, let's get to the content of the video. First of all, did you all notice my nails? Yes, beauties, this time we're using this beauty, which is Hilt, again, from Cleona, one of their lacquers, multichrome lacquers. This one ha is a blue base, as you can see, with a pink shift from y'all's angle and a gold greenish shift from my angle. Beautiful. Y'all, I'm addicted to these. Like, I kind of feel like I'm never going to go back to press-ons at this point. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is what I'm going to use in this video, which y'all probably already saw in the intro, is these two beauties. So I bought the Dusk and Dawn. This is Shine by SD in collaboration with M. Jones 5018 and Bizarre Volta. These are just as is expected from Shine by SD. I was not expecting anything else. I don't even know which one I'm going to use. They're just so shifty, shiny, beautiful lovely i've talked about the release of this collection in my uh, to buy or not to buys in the past this is the duality 2.0 collection i also purchased their duality 1.0 collection i don't think this is any more available i think some of the colors might be and this is from last year they released last year so i purchased it i think i actually purchased it in the sale i vaguely remember that and i've used the old one in videos as well why did I say that? I don't know, because it's no longer available. But if they bring it back, maybe you can purchase it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they bring it back, because at some point they discontinued it, but then they brought it back. Anyway, said too much. I'm excited to be using these two. Another thing is we are still going to need to use some mattes, right? Because these are all shimmers and beauties. I also picked up this one from Ulta. So this is the new palette from Juvia's. In case in my last to buy or not to buy, it wasn't obvious already. Juvia's Place is an amazing brand. They have very great quality. And although I haven't purchased palettes from them in a couple of years, I can see that they're upping their game even more in the color stories and the vibrancy of colors. The duochromes beauties are so nice and so 2023. 
so I'm just being super impressed this color looks so beautiful this color looks so beautiful that green looks so beautiful I can't wait to jump into this palette so let's do that another thing I mentioned to you all that I'm gonna purchase from Juvia's place and I did is this one beauties and I'm going to use this so this is shade number one I mentioned I'm gonna pick it up so we're gonna use it today and I'm gonna shake this because the other one that I use every time I use it it gets oil everywhere because number two is a little um, orangey I think I used it last time it's a little too orange for me so let's see if this one is good it looks a little too light this base only has three shades so I don't know oh well yeah maybe that wasn't the best of ideas but I think I put a little too much on there okay beauties now I'm wondering if shade 2 is actually the better shade for me let me know what you all think in the comments box below but oh well we're gonna go with the flow and let's get started with this week's palettes the first thing i want to talk about is the reason we're using these two beauties from shine by sd because shine by sd has something new and that is this palette called very berry palette this is the only photo i've seen of the palette and it's difficult to see exactly which color is a shimmer and which one is a matte i'm hoping one of the two medium sh uh, purple shades is a matte because otherwise just having one dark matte doesn't make a whole lot of sense and like too many shimmer purples but beautiful palette uh, it's $30 and I think it's already available yes it's now in stock not for me though beauties I am having my eyes on a few other things from Sham by SD uh, you know the what was it colorful gems or something like that that they released recently a few colors from that so if anything is gonna happen it's something from that collection but maybe nothing because we are also having a lot of exciting things coming up moving on to the next thing was this sweet makeup temptations is releasing what looks like some eye brushes Actually, it seems like these are not new things. The, these are just coming back. Have you all used this brand before? Let me know. I'm curious. Seems like it's a Japanese brand, and we know Japanese brands have good brushes, although a little pricey. I saw these released from Viseart, and I thought they had these released before. Are these new? Or, or maybe I'm mistaken because they've had the quads before, but these are new quads that they're releasing. Maybe that's what it is. But that green looks so familiar. Did they not have a mint green before? So I think the mint green one is Water Lotus. There is Sakura Lotus, which I think is the purple one. And then the Rose Lotus, I think, is the rosy one. And these are $25 each, and they are already available. Beauty is another thing that I did not mention that we're going to use, but we are going to use is this brush bundle from Juvia's Place. This brush bundle came with all of these brushes, and I think some of them are face brushes that I'm probably not going to use today, but these two at least are the brushes that we're going to use. I'm trying to find, I don't think this is all of the brushes in there. I have a few other brushes, I just can't place them. I bought this brush bundle during their Christmas sale. They were having this gigantic sale. I'm thinking it's time to use them because I haven't had a chance to use them. I don't think I've used any of them in any of my videos, so it's time. Let me see if I can use this brush to just buff this out. The next thing I want to talk about is these. These are from Violet. Seems like these are liquid eyeshadows, and I'm seeing them in a variety of different colors, and these are $31 each. I have never heard of this brand. It looks like it's a French brand. Uh, Nuage de Lila and Violet Sauvage, or Wild Violet and cloud of lilac i'm guessing nuage de lila is the lighter color and the violet sauvage is the darker color i think this is probably a line they've had and these are the two new colors in it exciting you all know i love to try european indie brands so hey i'm keeping my eyes open i would probably use something like this as eyeshadow base and then 
you know, maybe try to play around with it on my eye, but I just, I don't see myself using this as a single eyeshadow color kind of a thing. I don't do single eyeshadow color most times, but the, the purple color looks beautiful. I love lavender. And honestly, the other colors also look beautiful. You all know Sugar Drizzle is one of my favorite brands. I've talked about this brand quite a few times in my past to buy or not to buys, in videos, etc. They have released this photo, Mojito Because Summer. Should I guess that they're doing like a greenish palette? Sugar Drizzle, bring it on. Bring it on. I'm, I want to see limes. I want to see mints. I want to see something cool. Yeah, can't wait. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it because I keep saying I'm going to get started and I don't. I'm also going to continue using Angelica's brush set. I'm excited for this very summery color. Bin 2. Let's test this. Beautiful. Love it. Oof. This is pretty much neon. Look at this. Beauties, yesterday when I was at Ulta trying to buy this beauty, I also saw the 16 pans from NYX. They looked pretty nice and NYX generally has a good formula. So just letting you all know, Ulta has the palettes. I also saw another palette set that I had talked about in a past to buy or not to buy. I think the name of that set was For Play from LA Girl. And those also looked very nice. I contemplated picking one up because it's also very reasonably priced. LA Girl generally is. But I figured I have so much makeup, I'm probably not going to use them. Just letting you all know if, that if you wanted either of those, check out your Ulta. Beauties, let's talk about this one. We had talked about this palette before it was Snake Peek. This is Bella Beauté Bars collaboration with Ellie Star MUA and Brittany Huffman. And we know Brittany Huffman, I think she had another palette with, I know she had a palette with Inslee Rain, but I think she also had another palette with Bella Beauté Bar. I think so. There's quite a bit of redundancies in this palette, beauties. And if that wasn't the case, I would pick this palette up. This is a 36 pan magnetic matte shade palette. So these colors you can get in and out. And I think it kind of shows in the photo as well. It's going to launch June 26 at 11 a.m. CST. You can use code for 10% off or maybe more off. I don't think I'll pick this up. I already have multiple palettes from Blend Bunny and multiple other rainbow palettes. So I don't know if I want another one. But beauties, right now that I'm saying rainbow, is this supposed to be a Pride Month release? I was not thinking of that. Because although this is a rainbow palette, it doesn't really give me the rainbow vibes. And the reason I'm saying this is a rainbow palette is because it's like, there's no logic to the colors. It has all the different colors of the rainbow. Let me know if you know, but let's move on. Let's move on. I would like to hear what your thoughts are though. Just write them in the comments below. Beauties, before I forget, Glam Shop is having a sale. I'm on their website and it seems like quite a bit of things are on sale. God, this website is always so confusing because it is in Polish and you need to sort of navigate Polish before you can find where to change the language to English. Glam Shop, please do a better job at this. We have talked about Glam Shop in this in my videos in the past. It's one of the European indie brands that I like. I have bought some of their, um, do I have any? I have some of their brushes. They're very nice brushes. I have some of their palettes. I have reviewed the palettes, swatched the palettes and videos in the past. I will mark one of my singles swatch videos down below. Uh, I have a video of um, swatching all of the singles I have from them. Great brand. I highly recommend them. The only thing is that because it's coming from Europe, it's a little bit uh, the shipping is a little pricey so you know if you've all been waiting on purchasing something from them now is your chance another thing i wanted to talk about that i'm so not excited about is this one this whole thing with what like 42 colors could have been reduced to nine colors who needs so many colors of purple 
Y'all, we said who needs so many colors of purple when Sugar Drizzle released their purple matte palette. Y'all remember that? I think I mentioned who needs so many purple colors in my, one of my videos, and I'm a huge purple lover. I love purple colors. And then this. I mean, let me know what you all think. Even in the swatches, I'm like, I don't know if I can see the colors that much apart. A lot of these swatches look the same. Do I even need to say it? This is from P. Louise. And the reason I'm saying do I need to even say it is because P. Louise has had the same kind of palette concept in other colors. I don't have a price. It says coming soon. Okay, friends, I'm going to use this one. This is from Cosmic Brushes. I think they still have these kinds of brush concepts. It's not the same exact brushes, and it's so cute. It totally taps into the child in me. Let's go into this beautiful burgundy color called Dashiki. I also love the names of these colors. It's very, it gives me the African vibe. Okay, I'm just going to put this in the outer V area. Trying to keep this eye look super summery and bright while it's still doing a little bit of deepness here. You see how pigmented this palette is? I'm so impressed. That's what I'm saying, beauties. I love Juvia's Place. It's so pigmented. This color is having a little bit of fallout, but nothing unusual. And when I say fallout, I'm I mean, I'm seeing some powderiness in the pan but nothing unusual i'm also seeing a little bit of fall off under my lower lash line because of that i'm gonna pick the first brush and just blend this okay beauties i'm so impressed by how nicely these two colors blended what is this it's like a piece of paper in my hair i'm sorry did you all have to look at that the whole video nobody said anything anyway back to the eye look it's very nice i'm enjoying this let's now look up and do what i usually do which is using this darker color i'm just deepening my lower lash line pastel roses uk which is a brand i one of these days i'm gonna try and pick something from released this photo it's a sneak peek of something they're gonna release it looks like it's a palette let me know what you all are thinking it you know everything in the photo the hat the leaves everything gives me the summery vibes so i'm wondering and pastel roses uk everyone we know are known for very unique multi-chromy duochromy shimmery shifty goodness type of shades which is why i'm gonna try them one of these days so I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see what they have in stock. It says stay tuned. Clé de Peau is releasing these quads. There's 12 of them. Maybe if I want to try really hard, I can say that the green one is kind of nice. The bluish, tealish one is nice. But of course, this isn't comparable to anything you see in the indie space. Also, I think Clé de Peau, I think, is an expensive brand. It's a, it's a French brand from the name, I think. So if this is your kind of thing, I'm excited for you. If I were to try something like this, I would have bought the palettes from LA Girl that I talked about a little earlier. I don't think I got to talk about this last time, although I have talked about this before. And that is the Clarity Cosmetics is restocking or maybe it has already restocked i don't have a date yeah i don't have a restock date so it might already be available but they're restocking their python palette this palette has 12 shades six mattes and six shimmers it's 49 dollars, and it says that you can pre-order it and the, uh, the uh, shipping is going to be 8 11 or august 11 or earlier to my understanding, this palette is a palette they released two years ago and it wasn't available for a while, so they brought it back because it was a popular palette. I can understand why it was popular. This would totally be something I would pick up two years ago, beauties. This is a beautiful palette. The bluish, green olive-ish, 
grayish snaky type of color even that brick orange color it's beautiful i would totally pick this up if it had come out a couple of years ago but right now it's not going to make sense in my collection this minute i also love animal prints if y'all didn't know but now you know so excited if you were waiting on this and now you can get your hands on it but it's not something for me and the next thing I wanted to talk about is Angela Bright's collab with Sigma Beauty. Beauties, this is probably the most colorful palette I've seen from Sigma Beauty. And even this one is not colorful. Sigma, what's going on? Let me tell you a little more about this palette. Now, I'm not familiar with Angela Bright. I'm just going to make the assumption that she is a an influencer, a personality, a, a known person and i'm excited for her it's always exciting to see people in the space collabing with brands but since i'm not familiar with her i'm not going to be picking this up but it has already launched and it should already be available i actually don't have prices but i'm guessing you can go on the sigma website and see how much it is beauties i'm still waiting for pride palettes where are these pride palettes so I saw this release from What's Up Beauty that is the collection that contains nine colorful rainbowy nail polishes. The total collection is $132 or $133-ish or $15.50 each. And it's already available. Some of these brands that I'm talking about might be donating to some of the Pride-related charities i'm not sure i don't want to say something that is incorrect so if you want to make sure that that is the case check out their website as you're purchasing these items color pop is also releasing this collection it's a super shock bundle i always call it super shock i don't know why it's a super shock bundle that is a rainbow obviously and it seems like part of the Proceeds is going to go to Trevor Project. If you want to know more about Trevor Project or details of this bundle and you know how much of it goes to Trevor Project and so on, check out ColourPop's website. Oh, I think I might have misspoke. It says here, the purchase of this product does not impact the overall donation that ColourPop has committed to the Trevor Project. So maybe, maybe what I said is wrong. Another thing I wanted to talk about beauties is this one. I see a lot of stuff from Beauty Moon. I had not heard of this brand and now they're everywhere. So this is a collab with Ice Cream Beauty Box. The name of the palette is Visage. Uh, visage in French means face. Yeah, so collaboration, Beauty Moon, Cosmetics, and Ice Cream Beauty. Glam Shop had a release separate from their sale that's going on. They had this Glam Resort collection released. It's available already on their website. I've been on their website because I might purchase a few things before the sale is over. Yes, I said that. I know, I need to use the glam shop that I own more, but don't judge, don't judge. I vaguely remember that the whole bundle with everything in it, and this has a few colorful eyeliners and whatnot in it, was 90 something euros, I think. But don't quote me on that. Go on their website and check if you're curious. The palette looks beautiful, but it's a little neutral for me. But they have other palettes on sale that it is. I might pick up. Now that we're talking about rainbow polishes, let's also talk about this one. Prism Polish UK has released this. It's called Summer Holiday Collection. It's already available. I don't have a price. I also don't see anything here that says whether this is related to pride month or not so might not be but it is a rainbow release obviously with these polishes who needs any more so i'm not gonna buy any more and if i do it's probably gonna be more cleona polishes oh and speaking of cleona polishes let's talk about cleona for a minute so cleona is having their whole retro essential bundles collection on a sale and this collection has 12 rainbow nail polishes in it i think it also includes white yes it does 
and it's on sale for Pride Month. Also, if you want to buy each of these lacquers as singles, they're also on sale. I think they are each three or four dollars off. Now, I think I might be looking at the Canadian dollars as I'm looking on Cleona's website. So don't quote me on the prices because it might not be US dollars. But check out their website, obviously, before you do that. <sighs> Beauties. I love Cleona lacquer. So, but I don't know if I need solid colored lacquers. But if you do, now is your chance to pick these up. I'm going to put a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer on my eyes. I'm just tapping it across the lid, at least two thirds away. I don't know what you all see for this color, but I see something very similar to my nail color. It's like a blue base with a purplish pinkish shift on top. It continues to be confusing to me whether these are like in order as you see them on the palette. I think that's what it is. So if I open it like this, it's the same order as they're on the back. So if that is the case, this is the Dusk palette and I have swatched three of the colors. I don't know what the names are, but they are so beautiful. I think that I have swatched Feldgeist, Moon Eyes, and Gegenschein. The names are difficult to, to read, but these are just so beautiful and shifty and shimmery. I'm just amazed. This one, which I think is Moon Eyes, is it literally looks like glitter. Although none of these are glittery, but this one looks like it's made up of glitter. I'm going to put this on my eyes. Okay, let's do that. So again, this color is Moon Eyes, which is that color over there. I'm going to go into it a little more and I'm going to put it on my eyes like this. This is beautiful. Okay, so that is moon eyes across my lid and I'm very much here for it. Beauties, these colors look so legit. This looks like it has glitters inside and out and I see like pink glitters, gold glitters, all kinds of glitters. It's beautiful. I don't think it has actual glitters, like it doesn't feel crunchy or anything. So it's not like actual plastic glitters, but it, you know, it has little tiny very bright spectacles and so that was the dusk palette let me swatch a few colors from this palette so i swatched this one and then swatching this one so the first one is whistling the second one is echidna these are beautiful and then i'm gonna do this one which is fairy ring i don't know if you can see that these are insanely shifty colors beauties you all know that i did a review of um, shine by sd's fantasy 2.0 collection beauties i'll tag it below these remind me a little bit of that i think those were still a little bit more vibrant but these are still super shifty and bright and just unique the level of uniqueness is amazing and Honestly, I've seen quality from Shine by SD that I have not seen from other brands, from any other brands, and I have a lot of brands, beauties, so I'm just excited. I think I'm going to use this color in my inner corner because these two look a little bit maybe dark, too dark for that, so let's do that. Again, this color is called Fairy Ring, and I'm just kind of blending it into the other color that I used across my lid. Very nice. Honestly, beauties, it kind of looks holographic. I'm telling you all, these are the unique type of shades. Of course, these palettes were very pricey. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. These palettes were very pricey, but I see a little bit of holographicness with this shade. It kind of looks like a transparent but holographic shade, if that makes any sense. I wish the video was capturing it. Beauties, if you all know what kind of lens I need to use to be able to really capture the vibrancy of these shades, write to me below. I love it. 
Okay, friends, now that we're talking about unique shades, let me talk to you all about this one. This is Copacetic Cosmetics. We all know they do bundles every once in a while. This is their movie genre bundle. This is already available. I think each shade is $2. Okay, beauties, I'm trying to educate myself about these $2 Tuesday deals from Copacetic. It seems, and please feel free to correct me if you know better in the comments below, but it seems like every Tuesday, they have a $2 Tuesday sale and before like the items in the sale change on the monthly. These are going to be the June's sale. I think they have two bundles per month and the next one is going to be announced on July 4th. I think the first $2 Tuesday is going to happen July 4th. Based on that, my understanding is that this is going to be on sale every Tuesday, this bundle for $2 if you want to buy it. And maybe the bundles are until they last. I don't know. If you know, feel free to let me know below. This is a community where we help each other learn. Beauties, the next thing I wanted to talk about is these from Glaminatrix. They're releasing a few bundles. And you all know Glaminatrix is one of my favorite brands. The first one is a Candyland Duochromes bundle that is 36 US dollars and is a bundle of six single pans. The second one is Fruit Salad Loose Pigments, which is a bundle of, again, six, but these are loose pigments, although the colors look kind of similar, old, for as much as you can tell from these photos. This one, the whole bundle is 31 USDs. And if you want to buy both bundles, you can buy them for 62 USDs. So that gets you some money off. I'm still waiting to do the video with Into the Night palette and also use these, which are their holographic. These are Glaminatrix's holographic shades. Let me quickly show them to you. I bought these when I bought the Into the Night palette. This is sort of um, holographic multichrome. They look amazing. You know, I don't know if you can see the shifts. And I'm waiting to use these before I do anything else from Glaminatrix. But I know they said they're going to not release another round of Into the Night because they want to release their next palette. So, beauties, I can't wait. Beauties, we already talked about... Clarity Cosmetics, and that's another brand I kind of want to try. I remember when they released their, um, what was that, Evil Mermaid palette. That was a beautiful palette. I kind of was like, hmm, I want to try this palette. It ended up not happening. But now they have released the Aloha palette, and this is a beautiful palette. And this palette, honestly, the color story is very Hawaii or Hawaii. It's going to have 16 shades, 7 mattes, 9 shimmers, and it looks beautiful. The swatches look beautiful. The packaging looks beautiful, friends. As I mentioned, Clarity Cosmetics is a brand I want to try. Would this be the palette? I don't know. And the next thing, beauties, I want to talk about is a collab. This collab is between Hot Mess Mama of Four and Ofra Cosmetics. And you know what I love in this photo is the iced coffee. It seems like her name is Rhonda and she totally does not look like a hot mess mama of four. Look at her. She looks so beautiful and amazing. Being a mama of four and still being able to collab with Ofra, good for you, Rhonda. I'm excited for her. It seems like this is already available. I am due for some Ofra lip stuff. I think I've mentioned many times before, I really like Ofra's long-lasting liquid lips, um, the liquid lipsticks. There will be a purchase from Ofra in my future, but I'm waiting on a sale. And who knows, maybe if I do that, maybe I'll pick something from this collection. Maybe the lipstick. What color is the lipstick? Do I have a swatch? I don't have a swatch of the lipstick, but it looks like a mauve neutral, which is the color that I like on my lips. So I could see myself pick the lipstick up. You know, the eyeshadow colors are not my color. I also don't really wear anything on my face. I have purchased face items from Ofra and I end up selling them on Mercari because I just never use them. 
Moving on, beauties, we already talked about ColourPop Cosmetics, but let's also talk about this release. They're having 11 lip-loving shades from ColourPop, and that includes four new shades. These are from their Lux Lip Oils. I have used ColourPop Lip Oils. I don't really get the point of the lip oils. I mean, they're nice but it's not something that lasts too long it's not like it has a thick enough consistency similar to you know a chapstick or something that stays on your lip for long so you know they're okay but it's not something that is just that i'm gonna miss if i stop using them but i have used them in the past i usually have dry lips so i need something more than just lip oils which is why i'm not gonna pick this up but they are available for $10 each if you are interested. Beauties, we talked about NYX earlier. This is another thing that's coming out from NYX. I did not see these at Ulta yesterday, so maybe they haven't come out yet. But these are Ultimate Glow Shot Liquid Eyeshadows. I don't do liquid eyeshadows. I have hooded eyes, so in the past, historically they creased or they didn't last too long on my eyes would i try new liquid eyeshadows absolutely i mean i would hope that qualities improve with time so that they can withstand hooded eyes but it's not a product that i gravitate towards another thing is that i feel like when you have a liquid eyeshadow color that is this colorful you really need to figure out how to mix it with other kinds of colors unless you want to do a single eyeshadow look because it's a dark color it's a lot easier when you have a light liquid eyeshadow to mix it with other colors to make an eye look but colors like this can also be used as an eyeliner which is exciting but we all know that i don't really use a whole lot of liquid eyeliners either but if you do, these are already available for $10.50 each on NYX Cosmetics website. I'm also guessing they will come to Ulta soon if they have not already. As I said, I didn't see them at Ulta, but you never know. Maybe they weren't at the Ulta that I went to. Another thing, beauties, let me quickly talk about this one. This is a small sneak peek from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. This is a collab with Shifty Shadows, and it's going to be coming soon. You all know Ensley Rain is another brand that I'm sort of eyeing for things to pick up from in the future. So I'm looking forward to this not being pastel, as the packaging kind of suggests, and being very bright and colorful. Fingers crossed. And then that might end up making me pick this up. Okay, beauties, I put a little bit of ColourPop ultra matte lip in color flurries right yes on my lips i thought it went with this pinky eye look i'm really enjoying this the only issue is that i'm having a little bit of shiny particle i don't want to call it glitter because it doesn't feel crunchy or anything like a glitter i'm having a little bit of that falling off across my face i think it's from this color but you have to really pay attention to see it otherwise like from this distance from a hand's length, you probably don't even see that, and it looks just beautiful. I'm really enjoying this eye look. Let me know what you all thought about the palettes we talked about in the comments box below. Thanks again so much for being here with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. I love you all. Have an amazing day, and until next time, bye! <laughs>